It's back this summer. If you like squealing tires, if you like to watch people drift about, if you've ever wanted to take a Hellcat ride, we're going to take you there. Let's head out live to Pontiac. Uh, Roadkill Nights is coming up and joining me right here up there in Pontiac. I mean, I can already hear it already, guys, is Mark Mounsett. He's the head of the Dodge SRT Marketing. Mark, how are you? I'm doing great, Christy. How are you doing? We're, we're doing good, and I mean, you guys have the best seat in the house up there. Uh, tell us a little bit about what's going to be going on this weekend for the uninitiated who don't know about Roadkill Nights. All right, so uh, this, is a, we, this is our first year moving in downtown Pontiac. We've been in Pontiac before down the street about a half mile, uh, but we are literally taking over downtown Pontiac this year. We've been working with the city. They've been fantastic to work with. We got a car show that will be lying in the streets. We're going to have about 250 vintage and late model uh, cars on display uh, down on Saginaw Street and we'll have drag racing on Woodward Avenue. People been a uh, street legal drag racing I should say people have been drag racing uh, forever on Woodward but this is street legal all sanctioned by the uh, NHRA so we have street legal drag racing we got thrill rides in our Dodge Charger and Hellcats uh, you can take a drift ride with a professional driver jump in the right seat and take a ride and we also take you for a pass down Woodward in the right seat of a Charger Hellcat. So we had a hey, lot going on, food trucks, vendors. Yes. Yeah, so what is, the, what is the thrill for people with drag racing? Explain it to us if we have never like seen it or done it before. <clears throat> drag racing is one of the oldest forms of motorsports. I mean, it's, it's exciting. Uh, the tires smoke, the sound of the cars, the smells. Um, it's just a lot of fun. Fans get excited. Um, so we hope everyone comes out and joins us. <clears throat> All right, so I mean, I can hear it behind you. I can hear it behind you right now. But um, you've got with you EJ Nagley, and she is uh, one of the local grudge match competitors. So hey, if I could talk to EJ real quick, EJ, tell me about uh, sure. the ride that you built and how you got ready for uh, for what's going to happen this weekend. All right, so right behind me we have our 1965 Plymouth Belvedere. It's an altered wheelbase car. Um, we picked up a crate motor from our local power brokers dealership about three weeks ago and since then we've been working pretty much all day and night and uh, on building this thing. All right, so when did you start drag racing? Um, I started racing, uh, my first event was in June, so just over a month ago. All right, and for people who totally don't know, for the uninitiated among us, how long is the stretch and how fast do you end up going? So the, the longest stretch you'll run is a quarter mile, and then uh, depending on your car and class and setup and whatnot, uh, you can run an eighth mile, and you can go from 90 miles an hour to 200. Some of the faster cars go even faster than that. All right, so what's the adrenaline rush that you get in racing like this? Um, I just love the feeling. I love the, the loud, loud cars. And when you leave the line, it's almost like you don't have time to think. You just do it. And uh, it's really exciting. Do people look at you and say, wait a minute, wait a minute. There are not a lot of women who are drag racing right now. Do they think they underestimate you a little bit? And then you're just like, just wait till I get in that vehicle. <laughs> yeah, what people either think uh, maybe the car belongs to um, my dad or my boyfriend or something, but um, they find they get a little shock when they find out it's me. All right, can you do me a favor, EJ, and turn around? And I know that our photographer Hans is with you. Um, and just go ahead and show us, give us some high points of your car right there, because it's super cool. Some high points. Um, <laughs> So obviously no no hood to show off our uh, our crate motor here. Um, we got Mickey Thompson tires around the whole car. Um, altered wheelbase, so the rear wheelbase is moved forward 13 inches and the front uh, wheelbase was moved forward 10. So this makes weight transfer super easy. So uh, it likes to pop wheelies. So if you wanna uh, see a show, definitely stay in tune for tomorrow. <sighs> All right, and what time will you be racing? Uh, around 3 o'clock. All right, and so I know that uh, your mentor is there. Tom Bailey, is he here with you right now? Yes. 
All yep, right, right so uh, hand, yeah, hand the mic on over to Tom. Tom, real quick, in getting prepared for a race like this, you know, what are the, some of the things that uh, drivers have to think about? Uh, I mean, the thing about on the driving is obviously the, the conditions because we're racing on a surface that's normally just uh, Woodward Avenue. So they bring in uh, they bring in crews to prep it and get everything as close to a racetrack as possible, but you can't duplicate the conditions on a street. So there's a lot of with the car set up and just trying to make sure that it's going to be nice, straight and safe down the road. Uh, do you have any superstitions at all, Mark, before a race and getting EJ ready for a race? Do I have superstitions or does Mark have superstitions? Do you have superstitions? <laughs> superstitions? No, I mean, that's the, this car is a 1965 Belvedere. So this is an AFX car, which is a factory car that was designed with an altered wheelbase for weight transfer. So it was designed for unprepped surfaces like this and minimal prep. So this will be standing on its back bumper tomorrow. It already did it in testing. We broke an oil pan. We had to weld the oil pan back together, but literally this thing is gonna pull the wheels off the ground on the street tomorrow. So if you don't see it, then you're really gonna be missing out because you have not seen a car pull the front tires off the ground on Woodward Avenue. And it's all gonna happen while she drags the rest of these cars behind her to try and let them be in the show with her. That's gonna be awesome. All right, thanks Tom. Hey, pass the mic back on over to Mark. Mark, you got to tell us how everybody can get involved and how they can see this this whole weekend. This is really an awesome event that you guys put on. All right, gates open at 10 a.m. tomorrow morning. Uh, racing starts at 11. There's a $25 admission fee to come on in. Uh, we're going to close the night at uh, 8 o'clock with a concert with Ice Cube, which is completely new this year and we're very excited about. And the car show that I mentioned earlier on Saginaw Street, that's all free to the public. So we have some uh, food trucks and entertainment for kids and things out there also, and there's no charge for that. Come inside again, it's uh, $25 and you have a day full of fun. It's a real family festive environment. And if you can't be here, you can watch all the action on uh, dodgegarage.com on our live stream. Uh, it's gonna be very cool. Um, and I think that you're gonna go to bed tonight, Mark, hearing the squealing of tires in your dreams, because that's what I feel you're hearing for every two seconds. <laughs> Yeah, there's actually a good chance I won't be going to bed tonight, so we got to be here bright and early tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. So, <clears throat> And you know what? Answer one more question for me, because someone came up to me in the newsroom, and they're like, why do they call it Roadkill? Roadkill is actually uh, a television show. It's a platform, uh, part of the Motor Trend Company. Uh, it's a television show. David Freiberg and Mike Finnegan are the hosts of the TV show. So we partnered with them eight years ago on, on this platform. They were a new new show at the time, just getting off the ground, and we worked together as a partner and developed this, and here we are eight years later. So. All right, well, we love it. We love the speed, we love the sound, and, um, and if you want to get a part of it, you head on up to Pontiac. Thanks so much, Mark, EJ, Tom. It's great to see you guys. Appreciate it. Have a great weekend. Go kill it out there, EJ. All right. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. All right. We'll see you guys. Thanks so much.